what I'm going to show you is how we've now integrated between running a test case and getting um, results in Agile Central. So um, hopefully a lot of you are familiar with there's different um, tools out there, Jira, Quality Center, um, Jazz from IBM, and of course Agile Central, formerly known as Rally. So we've had um, integration, say, to the Quality Center for years. So if you run a test case in a lab, the results go, go into there so that it becomes your single system of record. With Agile Central, the nice thing is when you have a, um, a set of features in a project, uh, you can associate test cases with them. So I'm actually here in my Quality tab, and I have test cases. And you can see I have different types of tests here, and I can get statuses of them. Now, the very interesting thing is the way Rally looks at this is by build number. So if you walk through the, the process, you may have portfolio planning, you get in then to user stories, and then for user stories, um, you would um, ideally have a set of um, specific stories and then test cases associated with those, right? So if I look at a specific story, it ripples down to having test cases, right? So whether I look from this view here, drilling from um, this direction down, or I look from the portfolio or the quality and test cases, I can get a list of these tests. Now, the interesting thing here is with we can get them by build number. So this aligns better to agile testing practices than to things that are more, say, waterfall. And the idea is as my build number changes, my tests may pass or fail. So what we've done to help you align your testing practices and your test running to be more agile, we're allowing you when you run your test to put a build number. And if you're familiar with application test, this capability came into the new web portal um, back with 9.0 last year. What we've done now is created a new report type. The default report generator is what you've all known to grow and love, which gives you the old flash flex reports, now your really nice Jasper reports in the portal. You can chain a second report ID. And what I'm doing is I'm making it very simple. I'm saying that the test case name is the test case name in Rally. So you can see here I have like test case 1693 dash and my, um, the idea is if I, basically the easiest way to identify a link between the two is if I name my test cases on our side, the same as my test cases over in Agile Central, it's easy one for one to see what's happened. Now, um, I'll show you what this looks like in action. Um, if I come to the new web portal, I have um, a project called Agile Central. Inside of here, I have different test cases. If I actually go to run the test, one of the options that was added in 9.0 was run with options. So I'm going to say I want to run using my Rally report. Um, I'm going to use my configuration file that's associated with the test. I'm going to add a parameter. So the parameter that I'm interested in is actually my build number. So the idea is whether I'm running this test manually or maybe running it from, say, the RESTful interface or command line or even, say, CA release automation, I'm going to say this is actually for build, say, 25. So at the last moment when I run the test, I'm going to associate the build number that I'm running with. And so that way I have the ability to run my test over and over and over but not modify it. At the last minute, I'm basically saying, my environment says I'm testing against this build number. So we can see in the monitor test, the test is running. And um, I, you know, I have my test histories here, um, which is great. But what we'll see is when I run the test here, I'll actually get an update over into Agile Central. So what we're seeing is that people want to associate their tests running with build numbers but really they want to associate with a build number and the feature or story they're developing against. So I can hear, see here the test is completed. I'm going to come over to Agile Central and I'll just hit my refresh button. And I can see here that the test, the build number uh, 25 is there before it was uh, build 14, 13, 15, 16. It was run today and it passed. So if the, the test passes, 
right here, this is an example of a failing test where they pass or fail from our side, we're putting the results there, and then we're putting a quick link to let you go directly to the report inside the portal. So this is the actual report that we generate automatically for you. The nice thing is now you can actually see this. Say, a passing report may not be as interesting. A failing report may be more interesting to you. But it allows you to associate the um, health of your build and your features with actual tests running dev tests. So I'll point out the um, nice thing is these, um, these test cases can come from a lot of places. These may be test cases that you're automatically generating with your virtual services. Uh, so think when you go through your create virtual service via recording, you have an option in here to generate um, your regression tests at the same time. They may be done, say, through the um, capture, the analyze transactions with our agent technologies. They could maybe be done with our Chrome plugin or, you know, Selenium um, or Appian mobile tests. So it doesn't matter how you generated the test, whether it was through observations with VSC recording, our agents, or our Chrome plugins, or maybe you, you created specifically a mobile test or a, um, a website test. All of them will work the same way. The core idea is just when you run your test and you give us the options of how you want to run them, you can, as long as you report, it's got the rally report or the um, Agile Central report associated with it, and you put in your build number, we'll update that for you directly. Um, and one thing to remember is we do support in our reporting framework, when you look at your functional reports, we're reporting about build number also. So you'll be able to find out um, what tests are passing and failed by build from our console here and from the Agile Central console. So, AK, okay, that's what I wanted to show for the new integration so that we so kind of help building that closed loop process between story creation and passing of automated tests.